Hey guys, welcome back. In this video we're going to be covering refining basic materials. Refining materials can be done either using the stove or the shaper. We're going to start with the shaper. As we learned in the first video, press the E key to bring up the interface for the selected object. Now as you can see we have an input slot, a blade slot, and we have some output slots. To get started we're going to need to use a blade. So in my action bar I happen to have an iron blade. I'm going to click and drag it up and release it. This blade is now locked into the shaper. I can replace it with another blade, but I can't remove this blade. Above it is a durability gauge. As I use the shaper, this gauge will slowly go down until the blade is destroyed. Then I'll need to have another blade to continue using the shaper. But let's get started. I'm going to select some grasslands tree bark from my action bar and drag it into the input slot. The shaper immediately starts doing its thing. As you can see, I have three outputs here. I have wood planks, fine wood planks, and what would be superb wood planks. I've only received fine wood planks and wood planks. There are different rarities here. This one is the most common. While the green bubble here, this is the uncommon. And if I get any superb, which I just happen to have gotten, that's purple, those are the rare. At any time, you can close the shaper interface and walk away. While you do that, the shaper is still doing the job until either the blade breaks or it runs out of input items. But if you want to stop it at any given time or in the middle of a job, just select the item you have inputted and just take it out. As you can see, it stopped shaping. I can also then right click the boxes and put them into my action bar or into my inventory. That basically covers using the shaper. Let's move on to the stove. The stove works in the same way. A little different though, there's only one output. We don't get different rarities here. Also, it doesn't use a blade, it uses fuel. Any burnable item in the game will count as fuel. For instance, I have some wood sticks. I'm going to select them and click down on the fuel area here. As you can see, my fuel gauge just filled up and I still have one set of sticks left, so I'm going to put it back into my inventory. Now, I'm going to go ahead and heat up some iron and make some iron ingots. The heating process begins. Just as with the uh, shaper, I can close the interface and walk away at any time and come back and it will still be doing its job. And also I can just click the item to stop it in the middle of a job. I've got the three ingots that I was after, so I'm going to go ahead and drag those into my inventory as well. And that basically covers refining materials. Tune into the next video where we'll go into crafting. Thanks for watching.